Welcome to the Unfiltered Podcast, where we explore life's journeys without the constraints of filters. In a world saturated with highlight reels, we dive deep into the true essence of individual experiences, offering listeners an uncensored glimpse into the triumphs, struggles, and transformative moments that define us. Our mission is to provide hope, inspire resilience, and remind you that every path, no matter how windy or rocky, can lead to growth and enlightenment. Join us as we navigate the uncharted territories of truth and to be moved, be inspired, and discover that you're not alone on this unfiltered journey of life. My name is Graham, owner of Valued Productions. I'm one of your hosts here today. I'm joined with Hey guys, I am Trinity Baker. I am a mindset coach for with the passion for the power of our mindsets. And I am a co-host here as well as... Hi, my name is Danielle. I'm an aerialist. Uh, that's fancy for flying suspended in the air. I'm also an educator, so I teach other people to do it too. And I'm your co-host today to bring the funny to unfiltered. <laughs> so today's topic is what is our ideal day? I feel that this question is great to get to know us um, as we journey through this podcast. Great, Graham. Tell me what you like oh, to do. Man. At least it's that is that is a uh, that's a tough question. Uh, so I would have to say my ideal day is when things go smooth. I mean, I've got my morning routines. You know, I get up every morning. Uh, I say my prayers, do my meditation, do about a half hour of yoga, you know, and then that gets me going for the day. But then it's like making sure that I have the time blocked off for the proper meetings that are like smooth and make me feel comfortable. I leave myself enough room for the proper sales meetings and then have enough time to do the creative side of like shooting and editing and just keeping that day on a nice, well-balanced manner. And then at the end of the day, uh, spending time with the family, having time to play the drums, you know, um, and then capping it all off with some tea and ice cream at the evening. And then I go to bed. And that, to me, is a great day. Um, what about you? It, what would be cool if every single day when I really exist <laughs> back yeah. at no, Like, I kind of want to be you after that, Graham. That sounds really <laughs> delightful. Um, you know, ideal day, right? So I think as a mindset coach, right, focus on what can I control? Because we know that there's so much stuff that we can't control um, talking about our days, right? So what I know I can control is my morning, how, how I start my day, and how I end my day. So my, my primary focus is those two because in the middle of the day, there's chaos, there's kids, there's appointments, there's work, there's so much that we can't control and we just kind of have to... I'm really all about like taking life as it flows. So my ideal morning and night is one, waking up fairly early. You know, no one that is super successful and has the goals and visions that we have sleeps in. Um, so I wake up at 4.30 a.m. and 30 minutes of moving my body. And I used to think like that had to be like this certain workout program has now just move your body. Like we got to get that energy flowing. Um, so 30 minutes of moving my body and then I'm ready. I take a shower and then I meditate, I journal, connect with God, and then I come in, get ready, wake my son up. And it's all about setting your intentions. So that journaling is really about setting your intentions, connecting yeah. with what you want, right? So like when I journal, I have two different forms of journal. I use my own journal that I created and published, but then I also have a journal where I say, you know, I want this. I want that. I'm manifesting this. I'm manifesting that. And so it's constantly in my head what I'm going for in my future. And then I end my day the same way. I end my day with that manifesting journal. I end, end my day with my gratitude journal. Debrief your day, guys. Make sure you look and say, what went well today? What can go better tomorrow? Um, and then I do a, a five, 10 minutes of um, sleep meditation to really get into that zone and, and good sleep. And that's been incredible with my sleep. So, Danielle, what about you? Love it. That's awesome. Y'all's days are my ideal day. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I am not a morning person. Um, so, traditionally, I just wake up with my nuggets and I get them ready. Um, they commonly still snuggle in my bed. So, it's really just like a 
roll over and tickle and snuggle and then roll over, tickle and snuggle. Getting them to school without fighting is an ideal day. Um, Those are the best. Um, Or my mom stops by and so then it's just like a a little powwow and it all goes really well. Those are nice. Um, I love working with my homeschooling students. So I enjoy those weekdays the most. Um, What that's like is I get to like open up the gym and it smells like everybody else's effort. And, you know, I turn on those lights and I get my silk up and my lyra is still slightly cold. And I just kind of look in the mirror and I'm like, wow, living my dream. Okay. And, you know, and I acted out by educating the youth. Um, and then ideally I come home and I play with the kids and we eat. And then I go right back to the dojo um, to train myself and the adults. The uh, ideal days are the days that we have snacks and we're laughing and it's just like a girl fest. Um, of, and not that men can't come. Uh, we love you, Brit. You. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I come <laughs> and um, I do like when the kids go early and I can kind of have that debriefing time. Uh, I'm not so sure it's structured as the journal. I definitely need your journal. Um, but it is, I do pray. I'm a prayer, a meditator. Yeah. I tap. So I do topping techniques. I'll do that like throughout my whole day just to keep my mind sane. Um, it's effective. I've removed like nightmares doing that. So I commonly practice that at night. It's usually when I remember that I have a tool to help keep me sane. Is that night? <laughs> I am worthy. I am okay. Everything's cool. I got this. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my ideal day. Is that. Oh, man. That's awesome. Good stuff. Good stuff. This is this that. is so cool to just like see where we all are as far as ideal days and like these are the types of things that we get to work towards. You know what I mean? Like there are days that happen that are those ideal days and we and I get them on on a fairly regular basis. Yeah, you know what though? I look back at, you know, year ago, 2 years ago, the ideal day. I didn't even know what my ideal day was. And right. those were the days where I was like, what the heck am I doing? Why am I doing this? I feel lost. I feel stuck. And so we're always waiting for something to show us that way. And I think that you both can agree, like, we really just make the way. Like, you got to just make the way. You got to make your ideal day. And if there's something in your day that you're like, I really don't like this in my day, change it. Right. We all have the ability to change it. 100%. It's really remembering that level of power from day to day because like I'm a highly emotional person, right? And I'm empathetic. So like if someone else around me is going through something, I kind of like absorb a little bit of it. Well, it's learning not to absorb one, but also knowing, remembering that I have that power and that control and that I'm aware of tools that can help me throughout the way, like the journey. Um, but in like a, a more expanded point of view, um, like, you know, three, four years ago, I didn't think I was going to be able to be an aerialist in me. Like, I still didn't see that I didn't have to move away. And then, because nobody else was open after COVID, I was like, I have to create the way? Right. And now I here I am, like, literally living that out. I'm performing at the top of a giant church. <laughs> like, I told my mom this morning, I'm like, Vaughn, one, it's going to be one of the most extravagant performances I've had the luxury to do. But two, the fact that it's happening down the street from my house is like insane to me. Um, it's not. It's that power, right? right exactly. Like, making so the path. Cool. Like I thought I had to live in Florida or New York like I had done before. But no, I'm actually one of the most transformative performances are going to be right here. Right. So, And my students right. get to perform as well and share that like luxury of the environment and opportunity. So, so yeah. Cool. Uh, Cool. I think fact. that's amazing. That is, I mean, I literally just got goosebumps when you were like, I thought I had to move away because yeah. that's what one else does, right? They go somewhere for an opportunity. They, they go and find the opportunity instead of making the opportunity, right? And I did the same thing as we have this big goal of being able to travel the United States in a van and some type of camper van or whatever, right? And I'm like, okay, I'm a nurse. How the hell am I going to do that? 
how am I going to do that? And I could have stayed in that mindset of like, well, I'm going to have to be a travel nurse, which means I'm going to have to go work 12, 14, 16 hour shifts around the country. Well, that's not my dream. And so look, I'm making a way. And Graham, same thing with yeah, you. Yeah, totally. I'm doing the same thing. My, my goal is that location freedom as well. I'm in the process of honing in my uh, skills for helping people across the country. I also want to make my way west somehow in a van or camper or something. Uh I totally relate with that. And you know what's great is like we have this this podcast here today to like, you know, share some of these these goals and the this underlying things of what our ideal day is because, you know, there are people like just here, the two out of three, you just set a goal. I can totally relate with that. And that's something that I also similarly want to do. So I, I'm hoping the people that are listening have similar um, similar relation to the things that we're, we get to talk about here today. Yeah. Uh, can we talk about the fact that you just said location freedom? Can we hashtag that somewhere? <laughs> like, <laughs> 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 oh like, yeah. Um, location <laughs> freedom is why we're all entrepreneurs. We know that, right? But Mm -hmm. the fact that you just kind of like said something, I don't think I was necessarily consciously aware I was going towards, but you're right. I do want location freedom myself. I want to travel and perform. I want to bring my kids with me. I want to do stand up. I want to all bars at random places making people. Wow. Totally. So like, like, I love that you just said that because like, you're right. That is a new goal of mine. And now I can kind of put it at the forefront of my mind with that brilliantly witty (laughs) comment. Uh, location freedom like I hadn't thought about it like that so yeah I mean and that's that's what happens in like to point out that is why we are where we are now is because five years ago someone showed us it was possible and gave us Mm -hmm. and so when we are talking about starting this podcast you know I think of personally just a really great personal example is you know, I was a nurse working 14 hour shifts, never being with my family, completely unhappy, miserable, but thought I had to because that's what I chose to do. And that you don't have to, you can look at others and get inspiration and hope from others and get guidance from others and create your own opportunities. Totally. Totally. I, I 100% agree. Yeah. Uh, I like, like you, Danielle, like I'm living the dream that I had today. You know what I mean? Like what I do is what I had originally thought I wanted to do back when I graduated high school. You know what I mean? And like life had this crazy so journey much. and, and <laughs> now we're back to doing what that was. And so it's just like, and and like you said, Trinity, like I, I'll, everything that I do has been guided from other people showing me that I can do it. You know what I mean? And And it's allowed me to get to this place in life. It's just absolutely amazing. Absolutely. But you also have the mental strength. So I think we should take a moment to celebrate when uh, people yes. know to follow, when people know to look for leaders, when people know to yeah. surround themselves with the right people. Like we had to make that choice first. That yeah. is- we were around the people showing us that it can be done. And so I recommend all of us for that. That's its own step. People Straight up. So getting rid of friends mm-hmm. then was okay. number one step and and people don't get how you can't even skip it and family and that's the hardest one and it's yep. the first thing that has to happen totally and then i see friends that are younger right and i love them that don't know each um you know bias here but my friends that are more youthful right i i usually my first layer of advice is you hang out with the wrong people <laughs> right Hey, those, those people don't care if you're successful. If anything, they'll try to keep you at the lower level where they like you comfortable. And sometimes it's the people you love the most that do that. And it takes endurance to be like, I'm switching it up. Yeah, I saw I saw a meme this morning, a quote, whatever you heck you want to call it, is that if your friend says to you, it must be nice, they're not your friend. <laughs> but, Right. Oh. Yeah. I mean, wasn't that in that? So like when I'm doing discovery calls with brand new clients, you know, some of these questions I ask is like, who are the top five people that you are around on a regular basis? Let's talk about them for a second, because we can make all of the life changes in the world, all of the habit changes, all the mindset changes. 
But if the five people you're around do not support you in a productive, actual, genuine, authentic, supportive way, Mm -hmm. all of the work we do is going to be beaten down with a hammer every single time you're around them. So, yeah, I mean, and we think this is the truth. Yeah, Yeah. I mean, like, you you said it it right. You said that, though. I can hear myself saying that to people, like, oh, that must be nice. Like, I can literally, and I'm like, yeah, no, I probably wasn't really all that happy for them. Or uh, I was in like a really low spot. Like maybe like I yeah. didn't have a bunch of money and they went to travel and I could I could actually, you're right. And I'm glad you said that phrase because now I can one, I can have self accountability to make sure I'm being a good friend, right? But two, being aware of the people that say those kind of things to me. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, you're the, you're the sum of the, who you surround yourself with. So like, on that five person thing if you uh if you surround yourself with five old. if you find yourself with surround yourself with five millionaires you're going to be the sixth millionaire if you surround yourself with five you know criminals you're going to be the sixth criminal and and then another saying that always comes to mind is like you hang out in a barber shop long enough you're bound to get a haircut you know what i mean and so like same thing if you're hanging around that type of stuff you're bound to do Whatever, you know, and, so, yeah, and I'm, yeah. I'm grateful that we can come together on this podcast, surround ourselves with the people listening, the people like you joining us here today um, and and be that connection to take it to the next level. Also, think that another healthy practice is we don't always have to cut people out. One thing that I realized is but know their role in your life. Uh, mm-hmm. Because, like, you don't need to have only millionaire friends because, like, that no, uh, there's exactly. a, it's not everybody wants to be millionaires, right? So, so I'm a hippie, like, it could go either way for me, but <laughs> I don't know, and I'm okay. But, exactly. but, but, like, knowing where they are positioned in your life, like, Chenny and I recently discussed um, that, and I was struggling with my mom, and she brought up something about him, someone important in her life, and how she's had to, like, just know what not to talk about or or to not absorb their response because it's just not their fault they don't understand totally yeah yeah Yeah. you know i work with clients who are kind of traumatized in a way where they constantly feel like they need to say i'm sorry and so what i teach them is instead of saying i'm sorry say i hear you because that's really what we need we need to just let that person know that we hear them and that's a way to like put people in the box where they need to be, right? You're like right. if a next person is around you and they're not they're not vibing with your energy and they're not bringing you and supporting you in the way you need them to, find out where you need to put them. It doesn't necessarily need to cut them out, but exactly decrease the how much they're around you and put them in the box where they need to go. Totally. Mm-hmm. And on that note, you know, I would like to invite everybody who is listening to this podcast to join us in those positions where they're with us in this uh, journey on our unfiltered path, because you know that you're you're with us here. So, like, we hope you take some of that inspiration and be part of this this fifth, sixth, hundred thousandth um, group of friends who are joining us here today. So, Trinity, why don't you tell us a little bit where people can find you and where they can uh, get in contact with you? Yeah, Graham, absolutely. Thank you for the opportunity. So I am the Trinity Baker, and you can find me on all social medias. Um, and I, I post a lot of inspirational mindset focused content. So go ahead and go give me a follow and make sure you come back because we're going to have really great conversations like this every week. Agreed. What about you, Danielle? Trinity always has like a post to kind of bring my mood up a little bit. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, TikTok, and you can live chat with me on my website, which is Ariel Jade or Ariel Jade Art. Uh, you can expect to see all kinds of like random circus like things. I balloon twist, I paint, um, and it's, it's fun entertainment. Also, please um, share any questions you would love to have us answer. Yes. Right? Good uh, call. You said no. Yes. Good uh, thank call. Thank you. Yeah. And you can find me on all the major social platforms at Valued Productions, V A L U D Productions, all one word, dot, um, Instagram.com all those things. I'd love to connect, share your questions. We hope to hear you back here next week on our 
on our podcast, uh, The Unfiltered Path. And with that, I, I think we're going to uh, call it a day for for today. Bye. See ya.